Hello. Today I'm going to speak about one important subject in power systems field, which is reactive power compensation and harmonics filtration for real power substation. And I'm going to use my favorite software, which is MATLAB Simulink. A lot of engineers they are thinking that reactive power compensation it's a matter of adding a capacitor bank, but how to design this capacitor in which basis you are going to uh, design it or size it and what is the relation between capacitor and harmonic filtration also how we can implement it in real power substation I mean in medium voltage or high voltage level a lot of issues that must be taken into concentration while speaking about this subject so in this video I'm just going to explain the headlines for any engineer who is willing to work on this subject. So first of all in order to work on reactive power you have to understand what is the reactive power. Second thing you have to understand the harmonics and its resources. Then what is the benefit of compensating the active power? If you are familiar with the first three points, this means you have the basic knowledge to start working on this subject. Then the question, how we are going to take the measurement of harmonics and real power substation. This is something is almost ambiguous for most of the power engineers, how we are going to take the actual measurement of the harmonics. Even after taking the harmonics measurement using one of the, avail the commercially available devices, how we are going to represent the harmonics measurements in more readable format so anyone can understand it in a simple way. And after representing the harmonics measurements, how we are going to model them in MATLAB Simulink or any other software. But in our case, of course, I'm going to show you how to model them in MATLAB Simulink. Then, if you have a real power substation, in this real power substation, how you are going to make impedance single line diagram instead of power or uh, operational single line diagram. So you have to, der to derive all parameters for each and every component using its nameplate. So also uh, here I'm going to show you how to derive the parameters of each component. I mean real components inside the substation like power transformers, GIS, switch gears, cables, etc. and represent them as an impedances. Then after deriving the parameters or impedances for each and every component in the substation, how you are going to model them in MATLAB or Simulink. Then, after adding or creating the impedance over all single line diagram, how you are going to measure the impedance and plot it in Simulink. And also the most interesting part after after modeling it and taking the plot for the impedance what you can understand from uh, from the output which you are go going to get it then how we are going to design a real harmonics filter and reactive power compensator so if we have derived the real power substation parameters and we have modeled it in Simulink after that we have a plot the impedance so based on the output which I'm going to take it I'm going to design my harmonic filter and reactive power compensator then after designing it mathematically how you are going to model it in Simulink then after model it in Simulink and add it to your overall impedance single line diagram in Simulink you have to study the effects of this harmonic filter in the system. Then after that, since, the capa since we are speaking about uh, power compensator and we have capacitors, in capacitors we have more than one scenario for switching the capacitor. So mainly we are going to discuss three main uh, phenomena, 
called inrush current, back-to-back -back current, and outrush current. So also, these currents, how they are going to affect the sizing of the circuit breaker. So if you are designing a harmonic uh, filter, which is going to be connected to medium voltage switch gear, of course it will be connected to a circuit breaker. So how the capacitor switching is going to affect the circuit breaker sizing. Also, in order to verify all our understanding, the, uh, deriva uh, deriving the parameters, modeling each and everything, and to make sure that they are fulfilling the international standards, I have also added a verification study from Cooper Power Systems for the same system or for the same power substation. So here I have made a full detailed study, more than 100 pages, including all the points which discussed or explained briefly in the PowerPoint slides. So first of all, here you can see the introduction, what are the benefits of the power factor connection, how you can understand it. Then after that, we will take the single line diagram for a power substation in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which is owned by Saudi Electricity Company. This is the real, the real single line diagram of the real uh, power substation. Also, how we are going to decide the capacitor arrangement. So as you can see, it is a detailed study. Then we'll speak about the harmonics, its effects, sources, each and everything. Then we are going to speak how we took the harmonics measurements inside the substation step by step, how we connect it to the feeders, then how we represent, then how we represent them in a more readable format. After that, the most important part, how we are going to model the power substation by deriving all its parameters. Then how to create the initial model of the power substation. Here we can find the main source or incomers. We have the three transformers. We have a switch gear with two bus ties or bus couplers. We have load, we have the harmonic sources, also we have the capacitance of the outgoing cables. Then how we are going to measure the impedance of the system. Then here how we are going to size the capacitor bank and harmonic filter. Then after adding it, we will see how the impedance has been changed. After that, we are going to study also the effects of capacitor switchings about the inrush current with different scenarios. The result, also a deep explanation for each and every result we are getting it because it's not a matter just to get an output, but you have to understand physically what is this output meaning. Here is a complete study regarding the capacitor switching. And how, how the capacitor switching is going to affect the circuit breaker sizing. Then this is the actual harmonics measurement in the power substation, it's like a reference. Also we have here a Cooper power system study for the same power station, so you can, uh, so you can uh, compare the output results from Cooper study with the model, which you have it from Simulink and you will find it 100% identical. 
so in order to summarize each and everything just please go to this video description you will find a link by clicking this link you are you will be able to download the presentation file which is only two pages you are going to download or you are going to get also the full harmonics study and you are going to take also an excel file which is the output from the device which we use it in this substation to take the actual measurement you can take it as a reference for other projects or other studies and also you will get the harmonic filter in MATLAB keeping in mind that for each and every block the parameters how we got these parameters you can find them in the detailed study in the PDF file so you will not find any parameter unknown for you all of these things you can get them thanks for watching and hoping that this video it will be a good resource for power engineers for students and for design engineers which they are working on power systems field thanks for watching